Hi, this is Anna Sabramowitz from eLearner Engaged and today I'm going to have a little ID tip for you about eLearning games. The reason I think this is important is because there's a lot of money being spent on e-learning games and uh, there's a lot of people who want to incorporate games into their learning, but the thing you have to consider is uh, what kind of benefit your learners are getting from these games. So uh, I've been exposed to a lot of games where you know, you're either doing crossword puzzles or you're shooting a clay pigeon. And these games were all associated with uh, some kind of multiple choice question where I had to recall you know, the correct answer. And to me, the minute you have learners engage in something competitive like that, um, and also really not transferable to the real world, uh, what happens is they lose, uh, they lose their, their context of where the learning is coming from and they're actually focusing on beating the game, which is obviously not what you want to happen. unless. You know, if uh, you're actually having your learners do crossword puzzles uh, with the content that you've presented is because they're professional crossword puzzle solvers and when they leave that classroom you want them to do that very well. Most of us, that's not what we're training for, so you have to th think about, am I, am I putting forth things that my learners are actually going to be able to transfer to the real world? Are they skills that they're building in these games? Are they going to help them? take that learning further and I'm sorry but a game of Jeopardy probably will not do that so you have to think about it from that context so think about are they going to transfer that skill somehow and look at it from you know try not to be the learner try to be the the assessor look at the bigger picture and also the skill what kind of skill are they learning are they learning to click really fast are they learning how to find information so if you like this content subscribe so you can get it in your email box every time it's posted also uh, give me a thumbs up to let me know if you liked it or not, and I hope to see you next time.